Good day, ladies and gents. 9 a.m. on the clock. PG released the patch notes for the current update. As well as the game is down now and will be down for the next four hours uh, while I'm recording the video. So there is actually a really, really big list of notes and uh, I'll send the link down in the comments below if you want to read them yourself or you can listen to me I'll read it as a little podcast without really showing much because uh, there is plenty of things to discuss uh, but not much to show because the game is updating so we're gonna begin with uh, the first update the first update the first update uh, the first the first point first point is that BG reworked the playgroup system the new system allows you to uh, gather your friends in a group on the main menu and being able to use your stash or hideout while the group leader sets up the raid. So the group members no longer need to select the raid location, the game mode and time of the day. All the settings are handled by the group leader. And after the group leader sets up the raid, all the group members receive a raid invite. And you can cancel the invite if you aren't ready yet. I wonder how this is gonna look like. I hope it's gonna work very smooth. And uh, yeah, generally, generally, I just wanna, I just wanna touch it and uh, see how it, how it works like. In cold practice mode, you can gather up to 20 people in the group depending on the location. And after the raid, the group will stay with the same participants that were in it. The only exception in co-op mode is uh, the co-op mode with more than five participants. In this case, only the first five members will stay. Will stay. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it means. I guess it means for co-op mode, five is the max amount of players you can constantly keep in the group. Not sure what that means, I guess we'll see. Change the quest reward skill calculation. Players will receive skill levels and the amount specified in the quest. So right now if you were submitting quests that were related to uh, leveling up your sniper skill, you were getting random amount of levels and you were just getting a significant amount of XP, but not the levels, right? Lots of people were getting like 1.1 levels, 1.3 levels even though it said you will get three additional levels in the quest, right? Right now we're going back to the original calculation of that reward and you will be receiving levels. Not the amount of XP, but the levels. List of fixes. I will probably skip the boring ones and outline the interesting ones. Fixed an issue that caused invisible players and bots in the raid. Yes. Good, good. I know everybody's been pissed about this, there's the fix. Fix the incorrect operation of some of the Oculus Audio components that were leading to an incorrect sound positioning, memory leaks, and reduced performance. This is not the final version of the fixes. So, sound is becoming better. Uh, gotta test it, gotta see. Maybe right now I'm gonna be using Steam Audio. If the leaks uh, are not there anymore or they aren't too bad, let's see the way it works. Adjusted the geometrical sound positioning system on labs location. All right, that is interesting. I play labs a bit and I'm excited to see the sound changes. Fix the AI behavior issue of Zriachi and his guards that led to them not attacking hostile players at a short distance. Well, I guess there was a way to abuse the new boss uh, and now there is none. <laughs> Fix the possibility of group members spawning in different spawn points in an online mode after playing in co-op mode. Alright, so that was apparently there was a bug that if you were selecting different spawns in online as a team, sorry, in, in co-op mode as a team, right? You would play one raid, go back in the online, and there was a chance that you will spawn on different sides of the map in online. And that's getting fixed. Fix the issue that led to error 228 while using the gym in the hideout. I was getting that error a lot and I even stopped using the gym, so now it's getting fixed. Good. Those are the fixes that I found to be important, at least for me. This is not the full list. Uh, if you want to read them, feel free to read them yourself. I'm really excited about this patch. We've been waiting for it uh, a lot. And finally, it is here. So I like to keep those videos short. I guess thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and sub to the channel if you still haven't. I'll see you in the next one.